Hi, tonight's bedtime story is called The Mouse in the Hammock. It happens this time every year. I hear the attic door go creak as it opens slowly. The dust on the old battered box gets wiped away and its lid is gently lifted. And one by one, we are all taken out. The tinsel, the ornaments, the nativity set, the nutcracker, the angels, and at last, little old me. I peek outside the window with my tiny black eyes. Are those twinkling lights I see? Is that a Christmas tree I smell? Are those jingly bells I hear? That can only mean one thing. Christmas is near. No time to dilly-dally, there's so much to do. The streets are busy with grown-ups rushing around, taking care of all the big things, the party, the food, the presents. But what about the little things? You know, all those things that don't look important but make Christmas extra special. Who will take care of the little things? Why, someone very little, of course. So little, he could live in a gingerbread house. So little, he could hide under a gold bell. So little, he could sleep in a Christmas tree. Someone like me, the mouse in the hammock. Ding dong, the old clock strikes midnight. My mission begins. I perk up my ears to make sure that no one is awake. I carefully get out of my hammock, climb down the tree branches, and I scurry around the house looking for all the little things that need to be done. On the first night, I refill the cookie jar, checking that they still taste good, yum. The second night, I sew up the Christmas stockings, the one that had a hole. Ouch. On the third night, I hang the mistletoe to welcome all who visit our house. Smooch. I work so hard each night before Christmas, and I get very sleepy. Sometimes so sleepy that I don't make it back to the Christmas tree. But I can always count on little hands to find me and tuck me back into my hammock so all day long I can rest for the night. Zzz, sleeping. Night after night, my mission continues. I gather the kids' wish lists, I shine the Christmas ornaments, I straighten the star at the top of the tree. At last, Christmas Eve arrives. I just love Christmas Eve. Hooray! All of the friends and family coming to visit. Patiently, I wait for the festivities to end, the friends to leave, and my family to fall fast asleep. For this is the busiest night of the year. Santa is on his way, and I am his biggest little helper. First, I tiptoe to the manger where baby Jesus sleeps and I gently tuck him in, for he is little too. Shh. Then I make sure that everything is ready for Santa's arrival. Oh no, there's a hot coal in the fireplace, so I quickly pour water on it to put it out. Splash. Oh dear, the house is too dark, so I run to plug in the Christmas tree lights. Ta-da! Oh my, the cocoa for Santa is too hot, so I blow on it. Puff, puff. Then I hear a thud coming from the chimney. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, little mouse, said Santa, looking around. Good work, my dear mouse. Getting the house ready for Christmas is no easy task. He lifts me up in the palm of his hand and adds, This gift is for you to say thank you for all the little things that you've done. Ding, ding, goes the beautiful gold bell. You may think that you have only done little things, but don't but you don't have to be big to do good things. The little things make a big difference. Now it's getting late and it's time for you to get some rest, he says, carrying me to my hammock and tucking me in. Merry Christmas, little mouse. That's the end. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.